Okay, so um, briefly introduce what waves are then um, using this simulation here. Not that one. Where's it gone? There it is. Um, and then we're going to try to understand what is the Doppler effect. So this is quite a cool simulation. Um, and what it does is just allows us to um, see what wave um, what waves are. Um, you can slow it down. And if you look at it closely, the, th um, the things that are actually vibrating are only moving up and down, but something is moving from left to right. And it's not an illusion. Something really is moving from left to right, but you have to think about what it is, what is that's actually moving from left to right. Because it's not the string. The string is moving up and down. Um, you can tell it's moving up and down by looking at one of those looking at one of those circles. You can even get a ruler here, line it up, and you can see that green circle there stays. It's only moving up and down. You can see the rulers demonstrating that. So what is it that's moving from left to right? It's energy. So waves are basically the movement of energy from one place to another. Uh, if a wave, if the movement, of, if the vibration or what we call the oscillation, like these particles are moving perpendicular to the transfer of the energy, in this case, we call it a transverse wave. But you can also have a longitudinal wave, which is where they're moving parallel. So we'll look. Um, we'll look at another example. Then we'll look at um, some sound waves. So let's look at waves intro now, which demonstrates a few of the um, points. You get to look at some sound waves, and you get to look at some water waves. So we'll just play that one. Um, so this is these two happen to be from the same website, but I'm going to show a couple more simulations from some other places as well. Um, okay, so looking at a water wave first, when we uh, when we turn the tap on and let it drop, it makes these rings. Uh, you can see from the side that they look like that. This would be like the top of the wave that we saw on the rope. Um, we do have something called damping here, which means that it well it spreads. It's not so much damping, I suppose. It spreads out, and we look at it from above. You can see that obviously, as the as you get further out, the energy is spread out over a larger larger surface area, so it's less focused. Um, if I turn up the frequency, the droplets occur more often, and these waves bunch together. So that would be you could the the distance between let's um. Get a let's pause it. The distance from between any two points like that is called the wavelength. I don't know if I can measure it on here. I can. Cool. So that's the wavelength, one point nine centimeters in that case. Look at sound. Um, same sort of thing. Um, it makes a does the same sort of thing. Obviously, it's slowing down quite a bit. If you play the tone, it uh, makes a particular tone when you decrease it, then it makes a lower pitch tone. When you increase it, it makes a higher pitch tone. The amplitude changes the loudness of it. You can see now how the particles are actually moving in this case. Again, the particles do not move from left to right, but it's just simply the energy moves from left to right or all around in, in this case, actually. So um, let's pause that. So how does this relate to Doppler effect? Well, what happens in a, with the Doppler effect is if if the thing that is producing the waves or the person who is or the thing that is observing the waves is moving relative to each other, so they're the source is moving away or the listener or the viewer is moving away, then you're going to then the way the the thing the waves that you end up um, seeing or measuring essentially the wavelengths are are longer or the frequency is lower and so you hear a lower pitch if it's a sound wave you or and it changes color if it's a, if it's a light wave so we've got a um we've got a doppler effect thing a couple of doppler effects here if i can find it where would that be then um let's go back to let's go back to the doppler effect uh that would be let's click here uh, content related topics, subtopics, Doppler effect. Where's Doppler effect? Mm, 17 more. Uh, 
Okay, I'll just pause. Okay, so here's here's the Doppler effect, and we'll go. We'll open up a resource on the Doppler effect. And uh, looks like we've got two here. That one demonstrates it with sound. Let's just look at um, the light wave. So this is what was observed um, when you look at any distant galaxy. Um, that there is a Doppler effect, and the way a Doppler effect is experienced with light is because the frequency is changing. The same with all. Um, waves. In this case, now what's happening is the light wave is changing color. So we got a galaxy, um, and uh, if I move the galaxy away, you can see the waves that are um, at, at, on the right are all bunched up. Can you see that? And at the, on behind, they're stretched out. They've colored them in different colors to show you that this would be more likely to be red, this would be more likely to be blue. Same if I moved it towards the person, they're going to now see blue light because it's, well, not necessarily blue, but shifted towards the blue end. And if anybody was away from it, then, uh, you know, if it's moving away from them, then you more likely to see red shift. So that was what was going on um, in that game called a, a slower speed of light, which I... Um, which is also in my database. Um, as you're moving through the game, um, in front of, if you're moving forward, and the stuff that you're seeing in front of you will appear blue shifted because the light that's coming from it is being bunched up because you're moving up um, towards the light. You're catching the light um, more quickly than you would have otherwise. And so the wavelength is squashed up. And if you were to go backwards, then the light that you look at is going to be more red shifted. As you collect the orbs in this game, it slows down more and more, and so the effect becomes greater and greater. But there are also relativistic effects as well, which is which we won't look into in this video. Okay, does that make sense? There's a speedy introduction. Does that make sense?